Dear Tim and Moby, What in the world are atoms? From Chris. What in the world isn't an atom? Air, water, pants, leaves, robots, and, and humans are all made up of atoms. This is the periodic table of elements, and when you take chemistry, it becomes your best friend. This chart shows and predicts every known element in the universe, oxygen, iron, lead, and so on. These elements are all made of atoms. Around 2,400 years ago, a Greek guy named Democritus argued that everything in the world was made up of particles so small that they could not be cut in half. He called these tiny things atoms from the Greek word atomos, which means indivisible. In the 1800s, another guy named John Dalton refined the idea with his theory that atoms are the smallest particle of an element that retains its chemical properties. That means if you break apart an atom of an element like carbon, it's not carbon anymore. What is it? Well, atoms are made up of even tinier subatomic particles called protons, neutrons, and electrons. The atom's center, or nucleus, is a cluster of protons and neutrons. Protons have a positive electrical charge, and neutrons have no electrical charge. The atom's nucleus is held together by the strong force, which keeps the positively charged protons from repelling each other. The nucleus is surrounded by a cloud of electrons moving near the speed of light. The electrons have a negative charge that attracts them to the protons, and they live in shells representing different energy levels. On the periodic table, atoms are organized by their atomic number, which is really their number of protons, or electrons. You can also find the atomic mass here, as well as the element's symbol. I kind of think it's amazing that the difference of a few little protons, electrons, and neutrons can produce such a variety of elements with completely different properties. Different types of atoms can bond together to make molecules. Water is a molecule. It's two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen, or H2O for short. You would not believe how small atoms are. It would take nearly 10 million atoms just to cross this dot. And the scale of the atom itself is even more ridiculous. If the nucleus was the size of an apple, the electrons would be five whole football fields away. Ow! That means all matter in the universe is mostly made up of empty space, which frankly blows my mind. Oh. <laughs>